para nosotros recibir al alcalde de San Antonio, aquí en la Ciudad de México, con su comitiva de distintos funcionarios públicos de la alcaldía, pero además diversos empresarios en distintas áreas que eh, están con interés de invertir en la Ciudad de México y en nuestro país. El día de hoy vamos a firmar un convenio con la Ciudad de San Antonio, de hermanamiento y de diversos intereses que tienen que ver con los temas eh, de desarrollo económico, de inversión, pero también temas ambientales, de movilidad. Eh, San Antonio es una ciudad eh, pues con muchos mexicanos, no solamente por ello nos interesa tener relación con la ciudad, sino que también ha emprendido diversas acciones de innovación que a nosotros nos interesa. Tienen avances muy importantes en términos de ciudades inteligentes, eh, de, de tecnología de la innovación. Tienen también un plan, eh, aún cuando están en Texas, que es un estado petrolero, un plan muy ambicioso de energía renovable, particularmente energía eólica. Eh, y también compartimos eh, muchos temas sociales. Hay un interés muy importante del alcalde por invertir en temas de educación, que también a nosotros nos interesan. Así que es para nosotros un honor, un orgullo firmar este convenio con ustedes. Bienvenidos a la Ciudad de México. Este es su casa. City. It's my honor to recognize the Texas Secretary of State, Ruth R. Hughes, who's joined us today, and our delegation representing the Governor of Texas on her first official visit to Mexico. I also want to take a moment to recognize my council colleague, Councilmember Ana Sandoval, for accompanying me today for such a historic occasion between the city of San Antonio and Mexico City. It's also my pleasure to recognize all the representatives from San Antonio who have joined me today here to witness this important moment. They are all here as part of our annual San Antonio to Mexico City trade mission organized by the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the oldest such organization in the United States. This trip has become an essential part of our city's bilateral exchange. It has provided the perfect platform for today's signing of this historic Friendship City Agreement between our two cities. I was honored to attend the inauguration of President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador this past December, and I'm very happy to return to this beautiful city once more. Today is a day of celebration as we build on the historic and familial ties between Mexico City and San Antonio, as well as the long-standing economic development, cultural, and educational exchanges between our two cities. I want to take a moment to point out as well that San Antonio has had a permanent presence in Mexico City since 1995 by way of Casa San Antonio, our foreign office program. For more than 20 years, Casa San Antonio has yielded beneficial linkages between the business communities of the two cities and beyond. We continue to align our target industry work with Mexico City and look forward to future collaborations as well as celebrating the 25th anniversary of Casa San Antonio in 2020. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention the many important organizations and stakeholders in our city that play an important role in our activities and our relationship with Mexico. Furthermore, we are joined here in full force by San Antonio delegates representing professional organizations, chambers of commerce, educational institutions, and the private sector. We have many more unnamed partners and organizations at the local level in San Antonio that contribute to every day to the close bonds that exist between our two cities and our countries. Our close working relationship with the Mexican consulate in San Antonio has also been pivotal to the success of this trade mission and the Friendship City Agreement we are signing today. From leveraging the use of the Mexican Cultural Institute to highlight Mexican history and gastronomy, to supporting educational and cultural exchanges and celebrating traditional events like the Grito celebration every September to honor the Mexican Independence Day 
we continue to recognize our shared heritage. With the signing of this Friendship City Agreement, we further consolidate the work of mutually beneficial cooperation, and it serves as a testament to the strength of our bonds. Mexico City and the City of San Antonio, Texas, will make joint efforts to promote collaboration, trade, investment, and other exchanges to support public and private sectors in the two cities and to advance innovation. City staff on both sides will work closely to advance collaboration opportunities, including leveraging the fact that both cities have UNESCO World Heritage and Creative City designations. So let us not forget, as well as the constant change, exchange, and collaboration spurred by our strong Mexican national population that calls San Antonio home and continues to conduct business across the border. Our intertwined economies will continue to fuel innovation and resiliency. Our communities greatly benefit from bilateral trade, investment, and other partnerships between the strong economies of Mexico City and San Antonio. Our city has a broad portfolio of legacy and targeted industries, such as advanced manufacturing, biomedical and life sciences, cybersecurity and information technology, renewable energy, and tourism. I look forward to working closely with Mayor Scheinbaum on our shared policy interests, such as transit, climate action, water conservation, sustainable development and new energy, as well as smart cities. There is much we can all learn from one another. By building these bridges and strengthening our bonds, we better equip ourselves to deal with global challenges and plan for the future. Gracias, Mayor Scheinbaum, for your hospitality and the work of your stellar team for making today possible. As we like to say in San Antonio, Mexico and San Antonio are not just neighbors or partners or friends, we are family. Viva Mexico City, Viva San Antonio. A continuación, la jefa de gobierno de la Ciudad de México, doctora Claudia Sheinbaum Pardo, y el alcalde de San Antonio, señor Ron Nirnberg, proceden a firmar la declaración sobre el establecimiento de una relación de